Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kojo Joy from the Joy Dutch. Um, today's video, I would like to talk about three ways I take out blemish, blemishes from images using three tools: the healing brush tool, the patch tool, and the clone stamp tool. So, without much further ado, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you haven't turned on the notification button, also turn it on and. Whatever I do after this video, leave a comment if you didn't get something right and give me a thumbs up if I did something great. So let's just jump right to what we have to do today. So trying to take out blemish, blemishes from images, right? This I call blemishes, blemishes, all these stuff are blemishes. What are blemishes? Blemishes are, I think, projections from the body um, or on the skin of a model. Should I say, yes, yeah, skin of a model which doesn't sit right to the image. You get it? This isn't natural. You don't take out natural stuff from images when you're trying to retouch them. So, looking at this, this isn't natural, this isn't natural, these aren't natural, and obviously, this is more like a makeup mistake. So, I'll take you through three ways I would, I would have gone through to take out these blemishes. So all you have to do first is never work on the background, always duplicate your background. You either hold and drag to this point and release to create a new background or hold Ctrl J on your keyboard or Command J on the keyboard to create a new layer. So rename this Healing. Healing. And you're good to go. I pan around the image using holding space on my keyboard and dragging the image to and fro with my mouse or Wacom tablet or whatever it is I whatever it is you guys use in retouching. So first things first let's use the healing brush tool. The healing brush tool works in a way that you would have to sample and clear the blemish. So for example I would want to clear this. I hold alt on the keyboard and this sign pops up and I sample where I think it's good on the skin. I click, then I clean with it. So as you see, when I was cleaning, you could obviously see a plus sign. That plus sign is trying to pick up whatever I did here and apply it over here. So let's try taking off this one too. So I'll increase my brush size since it's a bit bigger. I won't exaggerate it and open this, the circumference this way and sample and clean. This is what I get, making it look off. You understand? This is not what I want. So let's undo this. I want the textures there to remain the same. I want more or less the, how should I put this? The movement on the texture on the skin. If I am right, I can say moving to the right. Or someone, someone might say it's moving to the left. But I want it to remain the same. So I just want to take off this blemish. So I hold Alt on the keyboard, increase my brush size a little bit by holding, by right clicking and moving the brush to the right or to the left. That increases or decreases your brush size. So I increase the brush size a little bit, right, sample here, then cleanse over this part. And we are good to go. It's so non-destructive and you get to retain the textures over there. If you realize I sample close to where the blemish is and I clean with it, you can choose to zoom in and zoom out. So zooming in and zoom out helps you figure out where you have to clear and where you have to keep. So a quick before and after, before and after, before and after. So with this, I'll use the healing brush to, to cleanse all these. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. So keep watching. And don't go anywhere. Okay guys, I'm back and we've done a pretty good job. 
with the cleaning of blemishes on the image using the healing brush tool which is J on the keyboard so healing brush tool as you can see so whatever we did here as you can see it's so natural in the sense that you don't even get to see the textures getting away from where I took away the blemishes you get it so let me do a quick before and after this is the before and this is the after so before spots where the blemishes are right when I turn it on I would like to zoom in so let me zoom in first this is where the blemishes I turn it on and you realize the texture is still there right the textures are still available at the spots I take I took away the blemishes from so this is one way of healing uh, an image when you want to take away blemishes from the skin this is one way using the healing brush too so let me turn this off and duplicate the background layer by holding ctrl J healing 2 so let's rename this healing into brackets patch 2 and rename this to healing into bracket healing brush 2 then the last one the last one would have to do it later so I'm um, healing using the patch 2 this is the patch 2 this is how the patch 2 works Sometimes it is, it's destructive, sometimes it's not. But I only use the patch to when, let's say, the blemish I'm trying to remove is kind of blared out. This is in focus. This kind of blemish is in focus. So I hardly use patch 2 to take these blemishes out when the blemishes are in focus. But if it is, let's say, although this is in focus, it's kind of blared out. This is the kind of blemishes I will try to remove with the patch to you get it no traces of textures losing itself or something like that because already the surrounding texture or the surrounding skin is blurred out but looking at this i would want to take away this blemish so you don't get to sample a whole area this way just a little bit around it move it to where you think it's cool for you release it and you're good to go i kind of find this a slow process and kind of destructive so i mostly don't use this so i'll just fast forward this one to when i'm done then you get to see So guys, I'm done with using the patch to and cleaning the blemishes off the model's face. This is a quick before and after. Before and after. Before, check out this portion of the forehead. Right? After the patch to, you get to see it doesn't look like you see traces that oh there has been an alteration here. The whole point of healing in my term is to not to see or the whole point of retouching. To me, it's not to see the changes vividly. Although there will be changes, but you should get to let it be a little bit natural. So, trying to turn on the healing brush. This is how the healing brush works. Before and after. Before and after. Before and after. Let me turn this off and turn this on. Look at the nose region. This is the before and this is the after. Let me turn on, let me turn off the patch tool and turn on the healing brush. This is before and this is after. Before and after. The looking, comparing the patch tool and the healing brush tool, I think I would go for the healing brush because it's more non-destructive than the patch tool. Like I said earlier, I use the patch tool to take away blemishes when the blemish is blared out on the image. So last but not least, the final tool to use which is the spot healing tool i don't use it on a duplicated layer 
I try creating a frequency separation folder and I work on the high end edit using the close thumb tool. So three ways, either you use the healing brush tool, the patch tool or the close thumb tool. You hold S on the keyboard to get the clone stamp too. So let's try creating a frequency separation layer and see what I'm talking about. So I have this action from FX3 and I don't really need to go through the whole process of image and duplicating and all that. So download the action from FX3 and it will help you with your frequency separation. So my initial Gaussian blur, you guys know, like I said, with working with images as close up as this, my initial Gaussian blur, I can go as high as 20. 20 is too small for me, so 24, 24 works best for me. Your Gaussian blur also determines how um, smooth your frequency separation layer will be when you apply the lasso to the mixer brush too, and also helps with the close thumb too. So with this, I'll duplicate the high frequency edits change the blending mode to normal so that whatever I do will just be on this edit and if I should make a mistake I just delete this and recreate like duplicate the layer again and continue taking out my blemishes so I hold alt on the keyboard send the cursor in between these two layers and clip the top one onto the high frequency edit you understand so with the clone stamp too it works just like the healing brush you would have to sample then clean so this is me sampling hold out on the keyboard i sample close to the blemish then i clean you see it takes it away as quickly as possible without taking away the texture very quick and non-destructive as well too you realize i'm not sampling somewhere here and fixing somewhere here I sample close to the blemish and I clean, close, clean, close, clean. So I'll get back to you guys because this video is supposed to be a short one. Okay guys, I'm back with using the spot clone stamp tool and taking away blemishes. It's non-destructive when you use it on the high frequency edits. But when I use it on just a bare layer like this, it's kind of destructive if you don't know your way around using clone stamp tool. So this is a quick before and after, before and after. Comparing this before, after to this before and after you'd obviously not get to see any difference because they kind of work non-destructively but comparing the healing the healing the patch to option to both the frequency separation um removal of blemishes or using the healing brush too it's kind of destructive and unrealistic so this has been a pleasure having you guys watching my youtube channel this particular video to be exact and like I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't turned on the notification button, turn on the notification button so that you receive videos whenever I drop them, anytime, anywhere, or whenever. So, um, leave a comment down below if you think what I did here is of use to you, or you probably have any ideas on how to do this better. Let me know, and give me a thumbs up if what I did is cool, and the contents on my page are great, so that I'll get to release more videos. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.